Hey, what is up, guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. We have a, a bit of a breaking story here. Um, we've got a couple things, actually, to go over today. Uh, the first of which is this new um, report that's been hitting the web. It's gone viral. I'm sure many of you have heard about it. It's all over the web, and it pertains to a mass sighting that's just occurred over Florida a couple days ago. This object, which blasted through the sky, completely lighting up entire neighborhoods, stretching from Key West in the south to the Florida Panhandle up north, who saw this, uh, you know, great ball of fire, um, as it's been called. Now, I'm sure to many of you, this may look like a meteor, uh, and from what I can see and from a lot of the people who witnessed this I spoke to, it didn't look like your normal meteor. Yes, it was a flaming ball of fire that seemed to explode as it got closer to the surface, but there was something off about this, and we have some bombshell photographs that may give us a hint to the true cause of this object uh, and may prove that it's definitely not a meteor at all. A meteorologist working for WWSB-TV in Sarasota said, and I quote, it looked as bright as the sun and that he also heard a little rumbling after it faded away. Now, of course, after this, the government quickly came out and labeled the fireball nothing more than a small meteor, uh, as they usually do. But not everything's a meteor. And where this story takes a turn, a very strange turn, uh, is with a new photograph that has just hit the web. Now, this photograph that you're seeing here was submitted to MUFON. It was uploaded to a file-sharing website. It was also emailed over to me. So, the person who took it has apparently sent it all over the web to anyone who would look. Again, you're seeing this photo. This is from a resident who is living in Northport who was out in his backyard with a couple friends when they saw this green glowing object moving through the sky. He took out his phone and snapped a couple of pictures and was lucky enough to capture the fireball in one specific picture. And what he also captured in this photograph uh, is utterly shocking. And again, it may give us the true cause, or at least a hint, as I said earlier, as to what this object is and where exactly it came from. Uh, now, before we go into this, I will go ahead and read you the email from the viewer here. Uh, subject line is Green Flash over Florida, possible UFO says, hello, I am hoping to reach Tyler with a picture I took of the green fireball that's been seen over Florida recently. I witnessed this personally, as did many of my friends across town, and I see now that it's hit the news big time. I was fortunate enough to be in the backyard when I first saw what looked like a green fireball, and immediately pointed my phone towards it to snap a couple pictures. I snapped as many as I could, but this thing was moving so fast that out of six pictures, only one featured the light. This is where things get weird, and I wasn't sure if my eyes were playing tricks on me. When I went inside to look at the photo, I noticed an object, unknown, moving just above the fireball. You can see it moving just out of the frame as the fireball drops toward the ground. It literally looks to possibly be dropping this thing. Whatever the object was, it was definitely in the sky. It is not part of any of the street lights, lamps, or houses behind mine. I have been seeing a lot of these green fireballs this year, and with the mainstream media's constant linking of them all to meteors, I felt maybe that they are covering up something. One thing I can tell you is that this fireball did not look like a usual meteor. It acted different, and I'm now seriously wondering if this was something else completely, and if it was sent down by this UFO. So, if that doesn't pique your interest, let's go ahead and take a look at this photograph here. Um, we can see, and again, this is shot from the backyard, just as the object began dropping from the sky, took his phone, snapped a bunch of pictures. There's actually a button on your phone where if you hold it down, it will take a large number of sequential images very quickly, one after the other. So we have this fireball here. First, let's zoom back out, and I'll go ahead and circle it. So here's the object here. I'm putting this red circle around. Now, even though it's uh, nearly pitch black, you can actually see part of this object. It looks like the back of the object is actually partially illuminated uh, from this fireball. And I think that's the only reason that it even showed up in the image, uh, because it did have a light source, and this fireball, again, very bright. Uh, so here we are, zoomed in. As I'm looking at this, I mean, you guys tell me. So we have this, um, you know, it looks like an elongated, cylindrical, we'll just say cigar. 
That's what it looks like, a cigar-shaped UFO. Let's look at this image uh, inverted. So here's the inverted image, which definitely brings out this UFO a little bit more. We'll go ahead and zoom in here, and there you have it. Um, now let's go back and let's look at a contrast and brightness enhanced version. So here we are. We've um, I've uh, attempted to brighten it and enhance it, you know, just contrast wise the best I could. And it's definitely helped bring this object out even more, which gives us an even better view, uh, proving that this, you know, this doesn't look anything man-made. Again, does not look like a bird or anything like that. And this is just, uh, I mean, I, I think it's pretty spooky. Because this does look like, uh, you know, a, an unknown cigar-shaped object that was obviously moving quickly because it was only captured in one frame. And it appeared conveniently and eerily just as this object blew up, flying down, lighting up the entire sky, uh, and that eventually sent a bunch of people into a mass panic. So, this is an amazing photograph. I guess the question here is, was this object a meteor? And if it wasn't, how is it linked to this cigar-shaped object here? Was this object dropped from this UFO? Or was this UFO simply there to watch it, to interact, whatever reason? One thing we do know is that the object was there. We have photographic proof of that. And uh, I will let you guys make of it uh, what you will. But I wouldn't be so quick to call this a meteor and simply buy into everything the government tells you. I think we've definitely captured something here. Let me know what you guys think. Share this around, and hopefully we can see if anybody else saw this object. I understand that it probably would have been hard to see. And unfortunately, the police dash cams, the angle that they were at, they caught this thing just as it was about to impact the Earth, if indeed it impacted at all. So hopefully, maybe, there's someone out there, we have some amateur video of the object, and we can see what this UFO is doing and get a better look at it. And while we're on the topic of cigar-shaped UFOs, we have another breaking report after another UFO of the same shape was captured flying near the sun and was caught passing by NASA's SOHO satellite. Alright, so this object, whatever it is, was captured on November 18th, and it's actually passing by the Sun and Venus, both of which were in the frame here. Captured on this satellite that monitors space weather, it monitors the Sun, I'm sure many of you have been to the website, and you can go back in time and review this footage, and if you are a longtime follower of the channel, you know we have captured an abundance of anomalous activity happening out in space and around our Sun. So this comes as no surprise, and as we're looping this over, this actually looks like an object that is passing somewhere between the Sun and the SOHO satellite. And you can see here, by looking at the timestamp, that the object obviously comes into frame from the left. We see it pop into frame, it's there one second, it's gone the next. And you don't see it in any of the other frames, so whatever this was, it passed by, it was there. And again, it's another one of these cylindrical, cigar-shaped objects. And unfortunately, we don't have any sort of way to judge the size or distance, so this thing could be very close to the satellite and be, you know, a couple hundred feet large. This thing could be miles in length. We just don't know. But what I can tell you is that there is a documented history relating specifically to the cigar-shaped UFO. These things have been witnessed since before we even had a name for them, and they've been seen all over the world. And not only that, but other planets. Here is a very famous image that was taken on March 20th, 1950, over New York City. And there were actually two photographs of this snapped. Uh, the first of which you're seeing here. This was the first one, where we have a, a zoomed out shot with the city below. And then we have a much closer shot of this thing sitting above New York. The photographer who captured its name was actually deleted from Project Blue Book's files, as were most names when the material was finally declassified and released. Upon investigating the report, Project Grunge officially labeled it the moon. Many UFO researchers have theorized that these tubular or cylinder-shaped UFOs uh, may be some sort of mothership, um, purportedly capable of taking on and discharging smaller craft. Which again, very interesting. It goes back to our Florida sighting. 
And I'm just going through here showing you some, some of the various and endless amount of photographs of these craft. We've seen them over the states. We have seen them over various volcanoes. And heck, even the very first documented UFO sighting was of a cigar. You're seeing that image here snapped in the clouds above Mount Washington in the winter of 1870. So this is the first photographed UFO, again, of a cigar. So before there were flying saucers, before there were any names, this was what was first seen. Many people think saucers came first, but it was actually cigars. And they've been witnessed all over the world, not only through testimony, but through drawings and sketches like the ones you're seeing here. Some of the ships will have lights on them, uh, various compartments, attachments. Others will be void uh, of any detail at all. We've also sighted these outside of our planet. We've seen them above our planet, as you're seeing here, and have seen them numerous times during various space shuttle missions as well as on the International Space Station's cameras, lurking out in the darkness of space. We've also seen them lingering and proliferating around other planets, specifically that of Saturn, where they have actually been photographed by our own probes. And I've spoken about this before. There's a wonderful book about this entitled The Ringmakers of Saturn. It's a very hard to find book, but I'm sure you may be able to find a copy online where it goes into detail and it talks about these miles-long, cigar-shaped motherships that have been photographed orbiting around Saturn, parked either within, just above, or just below Saturn's ring system. And the sightings continue. So, let me know what you guys think about this Soho imagery, as well as this Florida sighting. We have some very mystifying footage here. Let me know what you guys think, and be sure to share this video. The only way we can get more footage in and to talk with more people who may have seen these things is to let them know about the channel. So if you like the work I do, be sure to throw me a like. And lastly, I just want to say I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. So thank you guys for watching. Stick right here with Secure Team, and I'll see you guys back very soon. Stay safe, guys.